All right, YouTube, I'm not sure where I left off. Uh, here's a quick video. Kind of an update. A lot of these updates are for myself to remember. I thought I taped a, made a video the other day, but uh, I, I never posted it, I guess, or I deleted it, or maybe it didn't save. But I believe that was before I did the sheetrock. So I strapped it, as you can see the little lines, every 16 inches with the uh, uh, one by three fern strips, 5H sheetrock, double screwed. If you're picky and you look, there's some screws missing. I gotta just get up and final screw it. <clears throat> now I can show you the floor plan a little bit. Wood stove, master bedroom, all my interior and exterior doors are 36 inch. Might be a little more expensive, but makes things a whole lot easier. So there's a wall, there'd be a closet here. Here was another project from today. Uh, I forgot to recess the shower trap. That way you get a little bit of movement to hook your S trap up or whatever. There's, there's a P trap in there, but it, it wasn't. You gotta adapt it, there's not enough room above the floor without putting a step up and having to look stupid. So, thanks to some friends came by today and chipped this out for me. Another door here. Here's the uh, <coughs> top and bottom plate. There'll be a door somewhere over there. Well, that's just pretty much just to make the uh, building inspector happy. He didn't want the, or not the building inspector, the electrical inspector. He didn't want that, like in the bathroom. <coughs> so, it's in its own utility room. It doesn't really make much sense to me, because there's a pressure tank, a hot water tank, all sorts of other stuff in there, washer and dryer. And the washer's supposed to come out there, but I might have to tee it over, or something to make him happy. But I can always do that later. So yeah, no, I just gotta throw some boxes in for the rooms. But uh, someone just pulled in, so I'm gonna let you guys go. But uh, quick update, thanks for watching.